A couple who nearly died in Iraq will get $42 million. That money awarded to them by a jury after a body shop used glue to put their car back together. They are still badly burned, but they do want to send a message tonight. Now, Jet Paul has their story new here at 10. You gotta categorize by color. Marsha and Matthew Sibachan say it's a metaphor for their lives. I got one. They're still piecing it together. Well, I've had several doctors tell me I shouldn't have survived. Yeah, we, we both nearly died in completely different ways. They were hit head on and crushed by a driver in 2013 on their way south to the hill country. Their Honda Fit caught fire and their roof collapsed. I have nightmares and, and sleep problems. Matthew was severely burned from his legs to his feet and now must see a doctor weekly. Their lawyers argued their extensive and painful ongoing injuries were due in part to a bad repair job by John Eagle Collision Center. Attorneys claim the body shop used a cheap glue-like adhesive instead of welding their roof after the previous owner took it to the shop for hail damage. I hope people absolutely can quote this case and reference that number. That number? 42 million. It's what a Dallas County jury awarded the couple this week in a federal lawsuit. But what the Sibachans really want is change. We don't want anyone else to have to go through this and wonder why. In a joint statement, the couple's lawyer and John Eagle vowed to work hand in hand to improve safety standards in the nation's collision repair industry. Their attorney says State Farm Insurance pressured John Eagle into using the adhesive and is now suing State Farm for one dollar to send a message. In Murphy, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. I want to let you know that State Farm did issue a statement tonight saying, quote, the comments made about State Farm cited in this lawsuit and press release are not supported by the facts. Additionally, they are not in line with State Farm's mission to serve the needs of our customers and our long proud history of advancing vehicle safety. Tonight